All right, so this message is for all my guys that are either struggling with transitioning out of the military or in 2023, they're going to be transitioning out of the military. First things first, man, your chapter in that life is over. Like you need to accept right now that that part of your life is over. Um, that was one thing that um, I struggled with a lot and I hear about it all the time is how people can't let go of, you know, not going back to combat or um, not being around all the boys, not being in the team rooms, not, not just being around a, a family anymore. And that is one of the hardest things about this whole process is because we're used to going, whether, you know, I started out in the infantry. So um, being in this huge bay full of lockers where there's 40, 50 dudes ranging from, you know, 17, 18 years old, all the way up to 40 years old, um, you had people to talk about anything with. And um, when you leave the military, you, you are on a stranded island by yourself. At least that's what it feels like. Um, especially for those who, you know, start their own business. Um, I know all of you guys know what I'm talking about, sitting there, for hours picking up brass after, you know, 10, 12 hours at the range, uh, thinking every time you're on your hands and knees picking up brass, like what you're gonna do with your time and how you could be spending your time outside the military. And uh, when you get out, when I get out, I'm gonna open this, you know, business up. I'm gonna start this company. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Um, Cause I had those same thoughts, you know, I was thinking about that shit all the time. And um, now I'm here. I've been here. I got, I got out in February of 2022 and, um, the first year it was 2020 started the, started the business. Didn't even, had no idea what I was doing. I'm not a business guy. I, I don't, I don't have any background in business. Um, besides the, you know, drug dealing that I was doing before. Um, that was how I, that was how I learned how to network. And, um, I had a successful, time doing that and never got caught because I was smart and um, I, I did business the right way. And um, you know, a lot of people judge me for that and that's okay. But that's, you know, that's a part of my story. And um, when I was doing all that, I learned a lot. I learned about a lot about how treating people right will keep you safe when, when you're doing stuff like that. And um, Anyways, I took those concepts that I learned as a child, you know, selling weed, doing the stuff that, you know, was completely illegal. And then um, I closed that chapter of my life when I went on into the military. And that's the same mindset that you have to have when you're leaving the military is that you are closing a chapter of your life that you're not gonna get back again, man. Like, um, and if you're in, just know that that day, that day is gonna come someday where you're leaving that, you're closing that chapter in your book. And um, if you think that you're gonna be able to keep that chapter going and keep it open, and you're gonna have those same friends, those same people, you're, you're gonna go down a very dark path. You're gonna go down a, a hole that very little people get out of. And, um, the same way that you entered the military, understanding that those friends that you had in high school or college or whatever are no longer going to be a part of this same path and they're not gonna be running next to you on this path. It's the same mindset that you have to have when you're leaving the military. You are going to develop new friends. You're gonna develop new techniques, new skills on, you're gonna develop a whole different life, a day-to-day -day life. Um, it's gonna be, completely different, but that's okay. You know, I, I feel like a lot of, a lot of things that you hear nowadays, is like how transitioning out of the military is just the hardest thing in the world, that it's, it's the, it's the roughest time. And as that may be true, we also can control that. Um, I took control. I, I understood that, you know, I wasn't going to go back to combat anymore. Um, I wasn't going to be around all the boys. I wasn't going to be in the team room. I wasn't going to be going to the range every single day shooting for free. 
going to these awesome training events and awesome training places, getting any guns that I wanted to for free. I was getting paid to do it, you know? That is all, that all ends when you leave the military. Now it's, it's your time to pave your own path. And it's your time to take all those ideas that you had, you know, while you were picking up brass or digging a foxhole or sweeping the sidewalk or mopping the, the team rooms or taking the trash out or all these ideas that you had while you had like a little bit of free time when it was very slow down in a very high tempo life. Um, those are, this is the time where you, you get to execute on all of those ideas. And it's not easy, but it's fun. You have to make it fun. And you have to understand that you need to surround yourself with a positive attitude when you are working from something from the ground up. Um, it is, it's, it can get dark when you try to do everything without, you know, seeking help or seeking guidance from somebody, because there are people out there that with your idea that have done it. And, um, I listen to podcasts. I, I, I watch YouTube videos. I, that's, that's our way of developing skills nowadays. There are people out there that are teaching these things that you need to open yourself up to just like you did in the military. When you would go to training events and you would get taught by, um, civilian contractors or, um, you know, when I was just an infantryman, um, we were getting taught by Green Berets and which essentially brought me to that life. You know, I saw Green Berets teaching, I saw them executing and that's what ultimately pushed me to go to selection and, and become a Green Beret. So that's the same, same mindset you need to have coming out here too. Um, seek guidance, watch videos, learn and just be a fire, just get fire hose with all this information and just be a sponge and take it all in and you will be successful. It is not an overnight thing. You know, my, when I started in 2022 or 2020 in September, I started the company name, the alpha country on September 11th, 2020. And that whole year we sold $1,200 worth of stuff. You know, I had zero clue on what business was like on how, what to do, how to, you know, do the books, how to do the marketing. Um, I didn't know how to do pictures and how to edit pictures. I didn't know how to, you know, take videos or what video camera I should get and what software I should get and how to edit them, um, any of that. I didn't know how to set up a website, but all that, all that is out there and you just have to go find it and you have to learn it just like you did with your professional career in the military. You need to just go find it. In that first year, we only sold $1,200 worth of, worth of product. And then I learned, I was figuring out what I was doing, not necessarily wrong, but what I could be doing better. And it's all a learning process. You're gonna make mistakes that you don't even know that you're making, and then you're gonna see what works, and that's what you have to build off of. And the second year in 2021, we sold $200,000 worth of product. But the biggest thing is that I've invested all of that money back into the company. And that's going to show in the numbers of 2022. So in 2021, $200 worth of product sold out of my house. I didn't keep a dime from it because I, I have a bigger vision. I'm looking, you know, five years, 10 years, 20 years down the road, 30 years down the road sometimes about this giant facility that we're gonna be in that offers just everything you can possibly think of. All those ideas that you know you wanna put into a building. I can't even name them off how many, like all the ideas, but that's what I'm thinking about. And so I'm choosing to invest all the money back into the company for the next five years, 10 years, until, until honestly, until I need it. Um, until there's something in my life that, that I want to do or, or I want to have and, and I want to take just a s small little piece of the pie um, away from the company, um, then I plan on just continuing to do this. And with that mindset in 2021, it really showed how it paid off in 2022 because I was able to bring, you know, seven, eight, nine different um, supplement products to the table with multiple flavors starting in March. So from March until um, 2021, 
Was it March of 2021? Yeah, so March of 20. 22. Yeah, so March of, um, so in 2021, I didn't even have. No, March 2022, seven months. Yeah, and then March 2021 was just like close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in March of 2021, um, or in all of 2021, all we had was close. We didn't have any supplements. Um, I had the training programs. I had the training programs going big time. And um, in November of 2021 is, is when I was like, okay, we have, we've, we've crushed the, the training programs for this year. Um, now, what, what can we do the next year? What can we take this money that we have and how can we invest it and um, multiply this company um, into something more? and not just training programs in apparel. So I have, I had a huge, huge um, hobby of, of working out and um, I was very, very interested in, in supplements. I've been taking supplements uh, probably since I was 17, 18 years old. And so I took all that money from 2021 and I started putting it towards this supplement idea. And the first pre-workout that, that you guys see, the sour gummy candy, that was $45,000 to invest into that just for the very first production run. And that again was brand new. I had no clue. I had to do so much research to make and get the effects of a pre-workout that I wanted to have, that I wasn't finding in any of the other pre-workouts that I was trying. I wanted to have that. And so I had to learn, I had to research, I had to figure out all this stuff on my own, which is fine, that's what you're gonna be doing too. I'm not saying this to say that I'm better, that's, you need to accept that if you're gonna to wanna to do something outside of the military where you get guidance from higher, you have a leadership, you have a chain of command, you're not gonna have that when you get out if you're gonna build something all on your own. And so I had to figure that out and in March we launched the supplements. And by the end of this year we had nine products going and we launched over 20 different um, new apparel products and two new programs this year. So in, 20, in 2020, from September to the end of the year, we sold $1,200 worth of stuff. You know, I was, I was like, this is gonna take a long time. And then in 2021, we sold $200,000 $200, worth of product. And then in 2022, we've sold over half a million dollars worth of product. And the amount of money, this is what you need to understand. The amount of money that we spent in those, in those years, so just in 2021, it was $225,000 is what we spent. So we revenued, we sold $200,000 worth of product, but I spent $225,000 on product. So essentially, I was in, in a loss in the hole for $25,000. And then carrying over into 2022, I wanted to do that same exact thing. I had that mindset that this is a long, long-term thing. This is a, this is a marathon and we sold over half a million dollars worth of stuff, but spent over $600,000 worth of um, product to be produced. And it's still in production. This is what's going to be coming out um, in the beginning stages, first quarter, second quarter of 2023. But all of that's worth it, you know? Um, don't make that mistake of getting instant gratification, all right? Understand that this, this game, it, it comes with delayed gratification. And when you accept that and can close the door behind you, close that chapter behind you and just put it all in on what you're trying to do now, this whole transition, this whole stigma of transitioning from the military, it's not, it's not what it's out to be. And it's not what everybody puts it out to be. And I know this because I'm, I'm living proof of it. I'm living proof that you don't have to struggle. And I'm, you know, I'm going through plenty of family problems. Um, I, don't, I don't spiel that out on everybody because that's, that's stuff that I wanna deal with you know, on my own. And um, I, don't, I don't use that as an excuse to not continue to move forward though. You know, you're going to run into problems. Your, your, your life is completely changing when you leave the military. Um, you're home all the time. 
you're not gone training anywhere. You're not necessarily, your life is not fun at the moment because you are working on developing that. You are working just like when you went to basic training. All right, you are going at the, the, the crawl stage of what your next chapter is going to be. And you need to understand that. It is a crawl, walk, run, just like the military. Just like when you close that first chapter before joining the military. All right, and now you're about to get ready to, if you haven't already, you're about to get ready to close um, this next chapter of your life. And you're going to start a brand new one. And now it's time to write what that chapter is going to be about. And then someday you're going to close that chapter again. So if you are struggling with this transition piece of leaving the military or you, you know, you're struggling with about to you know, get out and you're worried about what you're going to do, don't be scared. All right. Have, have confidence in yourself and understand that it's delayed gratification when you're trying to do something, something big. And just don't, don't give up, you know, um, it's very easy to say, but giving up is, is the easiest way out of this hard part of life. And we want to see all of you continue to write your story. We don't want this to be your last chapter and we want you to continue to write your book and tell us your story. And we want to see you succeed. So good luck to all of you guys that are, you know, transitioning out of the military this year. If you have any questions, if you need any guidance or anything, we have opened up the books for one-on-one -on -one calls. If that's something that you're interested in, if, if you feel like you need to get a little bit more insight about how I started this company and, and how I transitioned out of the military and, you know, kind of just develop this mindset and, and how I work through my problems and how I work through um, closing that chapter because it's not easy. Then book a call and let's and let's talk about it. All right. So good luck to all of you guys, um, and I hope that you guys have an awesome 2023.